Okay, so I heard that Mark and Fausto from Feast of Fun are staying here with Fausto's mom. Let's go see if we can talk to them. Okay. Is this the doorbell? Hi. We don't want any. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe we should try it again. Be oh. gracious, Fausto. What? We don't oh, want any. Hey. Who are you? <laughs> So I'm uh, Erica from Workout with Erica Nix, and oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm so rude. <laughs> Get out of here! Okay. Come on, come on. Let's go. Girl, it was good. <laughs> You're like what? So I am here with Fausto and Mark from Feast of Fun. I got this lead to get in here, and I can't believe I'm sitting with you right now. I'm excited to be here with you. It's a pleasure to discover you. I can't believe that you are sitting next to me too. No, no, y'all are too. You are nice. so lucky no, to be here. No, I am. Aww. We started audio blogging about eight years ago, before YouTube existed, before even blogs were really a thing. And Apple Computer, uh, back in the day, on iTunes, they celebrated one year of podcasting, and they said these 48 shows what brought podcasting from an underground phenomena into a mainstream success. We were uh, the only gay themed show and-, and uh, They called us pioneers. They called us pioneers and we are yeah, pioneers. Yeah. <laughs> like in Texas, girl. So, so we do a daily talk show. So if you were going to give workout advice about how to do, be more successful, to be famous, then what would you, <laughs> what would be the way? Are you asking for your person, you wanted advice? We love giving celebrities advice. I know. We've gotten into fitness mm -hmm. in a big, big way. Um, I think that the internet and the way, especially progressive minded people and queers, uh, think about fitness has radically changed in the last five years. Well, even like the 90s and the 90s, yeah. you know, if you were queer, you were somebody that would say, you smoked cigarettes, you hung out in the bar, you were radical. It was like, going to the gym was like what, you know, the man did, or people who weren't comfortable with their bodies, politics tied to um, getting in shape and feeling sexy. And I think because a lot of actually feminist writers and a lot of bloggers in general have said, you know, being in shape is liberating and going to the gym and, and looking and feeling your best doesn't mean that you're necessarily should feel shame of, of what your body looks like now. It's about always wanting to enhance and improve your existence. And, and trans people, I think, too, have really uh, taught us a lot, too, because it's, you know, here are people that, are, that, that fight for the body that they want to have, you know, mm -hmm. so they can do it, like, surgically or through hormones, you know, and exercise. And it's, you know, in a way, Fausto and I have kind of, we've kind of transitioned in a certain kind of way from huh. the body that we had to the body that we want, and we're still trying to get to that point. Right, that's interesting. Know? I've never thought so about So we've transitioned that. within our gender. Yeah, huh. You know? <laughs> That's interesting. I like that makes That's me. That's mind blowing. Ah, it's like, it's, like, it's, it's so like, fun to talk to you guys. I feel like we could sit here all day. Yeah, I'm getting yeah. some locked up. Let's, let's go work out. You want to? Yeah, yeah. let's go work out. Okay, all right. Right, let's go. All right, girl. Woo. Should I get changed first? Of course. Stop pointing out my gray hair. Oh, check this out. This is like a stretching. Oh, uh, Marilu Yeah. It's actually not. about putting like lotion on your hands and putting socks over them? We should like uh, be drinking iced coffee while watching. 